Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts and welcome to another Not With Me. If you are new to my channel, a Not With Me video is just a video in which I am making a bracelet and it is extremely sped up so that you can see the entire process of me creating this bracelet from start to finish in one video. Usually during these videos, I talk to you guys about whatever I feel like talking to you on the day. Uh, typically, it's more of like a life update, chit chat kind of style of video. So today we're making a beautiful butterfly bracelet sort of to get into the spring mood. And um, yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys because I haven't been as actively posting as I usually do. I've kind of been a bit absent uh, on social media and stuff. And um, I would really like to use this time to catch up with you guys. It has been a very difficult time for a lot of people, and I am deeply saddened. I want you to know that I am not speaking up online due to safety concerns over myself and my loved ones, but I am doing what I can offline to help those in need. As for me, a, a bit of a life update, I guess. Uh, some of my family is here with me now, which, um, which has been great. Um, it has, as I said, been um, a very challenging time but we are trying to stay focused um, on the positives and still enjoy uh, the things that we can enjoy. Um, and most importantly, we are trying to be grateful for the things that we do have and the fact that we are able to be together and we are safe. Um, we, we really are trying to focus on, on those things currently. My sister, my older sister, just had a baby. Uh, it's the first grandchild in the family and we are very excited to welcome this new um, little person, uh, this new child into our family. Uh, I'm actually going to go and see her really soon. Um, I'm going there next week to go meet the baby and help my sister out. Uh, and it should be a very fun time. I'm very excited and we're all very happy. Um, what else? Some positive things that have been going on. Um, yeah, I, I found a new job. Um, that's that's a very positive thing. I'm very happy and very excited about that. That's a very positive change for me. Um, if you don't know my, my job that I'm currently at, uh, I am a YouTube channel manager for a kids company that does kids cartoons, um, which basically means that I do similar things to what I'm doing here, except I obviously do it for a company and I run multiple channels rather than just the one uh, for myself here. Well, I have a secondary channel that I haven't posted in over a year, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so like I, I edit videos, I, uh, I upload them to YouTube, I do all the metadata, all the optimizing, I do the thumbnails, I do the analytics, I write reports uh, on the analytics and, you know, all of that kind of fun stuff. And I actually do really enjoy what I do and hence my uh, new job is also in the same area, in the same field, um, except it will be um, a higher position than what and then the one that I'm currently at, uh, which also means that I will have more responsibilities um, and I will be working directly with clients and, um, you know, it'll, it'll be <laughs> a whole different set of challenges and I will, I will have to learn new things and I am also very excited about that. It will also be with um, adult content this time instead of kids content, uh, which would be an interesting change because I'm so used to working with cartoons and um, doing like thumbnails and graphics and banners and stuff for car kids cartoons specifically. It'll be very interesting to, um, to change to adult stuff. But yeah, I start that job um, right after I get back from the Czech Republic, which is where my sister lives. And um, yeah, that's a positive thing that's been happening and I'm very excited about that as well. So yeah, just, you know, trying to focus on the positives and keep each other close in these uh, difficult times. I am actually really, really happy with how this bracelet turned out. This bracelet as well um, was kind of me trying to go with the theme and like focus on the positives kind of stuff. Um, I chose this pattern because it reminds me of spring. Butterflies, um, I find, are a great sort of representation of spring. Um, and I really wanted to make something seasonal. I found that, you know, um, I think I, I talked about this before in a previous Not With Me, but like previously when I used to be in school, I used to only really like summer. <laughs> That's because we had summer holidays, right? Uh, and I would really dislike any other season. Um, I would dislike autumn specifically because that's when you have to go back to school and you know, uh. and then I would dislike winter because it's cold. <laughs> I didn't like that. And it's also, you know, the short nights um, meant that I couldn't really go out, hang out with my friends after school as much. 
and all of that. I, would, I wouldn't mind spring because spring meant that summer was coming soon and obviously I loved summer. But nowadays that I'm an adult um, and I don't really have summer holidays, I can take holidays whenever I want. Um, I, uh, I really have grown to enjoy and appreciate all of the different like pieces of all of these different seasons, all of these, it, it, they're just so beautiful. And so I've, I've really started to enjoy making seasonal bracelets uh, for for each season and uh, here we are in spring I, I you might have noticed like previously if you scroll back and look at some of my older videos you will see that I've done a bunch of different seasonal bracelets for autumn and, and winter and you know even previously just from last summer as well so I really wanted to do something seasonal now that um, it's starting to feel like spring has actually come in uh, in London it's still a bit cold but we did get a few um, beautiful days of sunshine which we really enjoyed by going out to some parks and just trying to soak it all in. So that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the idea, the vibes here for this bracelet. I really wanted to do something positive and something that made me made me smile at least for a little bit. So that's kind of the the vibes of this. And um, while making this bracelet, I found it quite challenging to pick the colors, but I actually genuinely really like how they turned out. Um, I find it quite difficult to specifically with alphas, but I mean, no, normal patterns as well, but, but alphas specifically, um, because I didn't even say what I was, <laughs> what I was finding difficult. I find it difficult to tell apart colors to make sure that colors are different enough from each other within the bracelet that I'm making. Specifically in alphas, because you are trying to make a design, you need the colors to stand out in order for a design to be visible. Whereas in normal bracelets, um, it's kind of less of an issue, though though it is still, of course, um, an issue. So I find that quite challenging, but, um, and, and I was worried that, you know, see, each butterfly kind of has two colors. It's got a darker color and a lighter color within it. And I was nervous that um, it might sort of blend in and you wouldn't be able to see the colors quite well in the bracelet, but I think it turned out quite well. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I found this bracelet to be really fun um, to make as well. Um, and if you notice on my nails, um, I mean, you, you can't really see here, I guess it's a bit too blurry. <laughs> Maybe you'll see in a, in a later shot, but I've got little, um, what are they called? Daisies on my nails. So I've tried to embrace spring from all of the sides where I can. That's kind of been the, the vibes. I even started playing Animal Crossing again. I haven't, um, I haven't played Animal Crossing in so long, pretty much ever since, um, ever since we moved into this new flat. I've been having issues with my internet and my Switch doesn't properly connect to the internet that we have here, which has made it challenging to sort of play online with my friends and um, meet other people to like do trades and stuff. So I kind of stopped playing it and I haven't opened my Animal Crossing game in like seven months or so. My villagers were not happy with me when I logged back in, but I've been, uh, I've been logging back in pretty much daily um, for the past week or so, just trying to again, um, get back into the season and trying to enjoy the little things. And it's also my birthday is coming up on the 7th and we've got some fun stuff planned. And my villagers, of course, are gonna throw me a secret surprise birthday party in Animal Crossing, which, you know, <laughs> we've got secret friends on Animal Crossing. I don't know. I, I'm i just, you know, I'm quite happy that I've uh, found my way back to it. So, yeah. I've also been um, reading a lot of books and trying to kind of immerse myself in this, these stories. Uh, what have I read since we last spoke? I haven't done a vlog in a while. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of doing one at some point soon. Uh, I haven't done one in a while though, but yeah, I've read a lot of books since my last vlog. I think, uh, let me pull up my Goodreads actually. And I'll give you a proper list um, and talk to you guys specifically about what I've been reading. I'm trying to branch out into different um, genres uh, because I mostly read fantasy. That's just kind of how it has been. So I've been trying to sort of dabble a bit in other genres. I read the entire Truly Devious series of which uh, there are four books currently out, which is a mystery. I found it amazing. I, I really enjoyed it. It is a young adult mystery that is set in this um, kind of secret private school, uh, boarding school, pardon. There's been a murder many, many years ago and now we're following this character who gets accepted into the school for talented kids. Um, and she gets accepted specifically because she's like, her special interest is crime. Um, and so she's like in this school and trying to investigate this like decades old murder um, 
like cold case that's like the most famous anyway it was it was really fun it was like a four book series i think there's books coming out and i really enjoyed it um then i read the six of crows duology uh which is a fantasy um it's kind of like a heist story i guess um well partially i really enjoyed that as well um what else did i read i read a couple of rom-coms in between to just kind of you know take a break in between um big long series I just sprinkled in a bit of standalone rom-coms to be fair I don't really enjoy them that much so maybe I will stop doing that I'm, I'm trying to transition into different genres I tried some of that can't say I liked it I'm gonna try some um historical fantasy potentially or historical romance um and maybe some contemporaries as well I want to try that but then I also read uh from blood and ash I, I did not like that so I won't really be commenting on that further I won't be continuing with that series either I also read the cruel prince which is a um, young adult fantasy and I really enjoyed that and I'm continuing with that I'm currently reading uh, the second book in that series uh, which is The Wicked King I think so yeah there you go that's kind of an update on my reading habits um, but yeah I've, I've, I've been you know keeping busy keeping busy a lot of stuff is happening ah, we're coming a close coming to a close uh, in this bracelet here um, and with this purple butterfly. I did cut this bracelet short. There was another butterfly in the pattern. Um, I looked at the photos and I noticed that actually a lot of people are doing that. The bracelet ended up being, um, I believe 13 and a half centimeters, which I usually make my bracelets to be uh, 14 centimeters. So it was right around what I usually make my bracelets anyway. And I decided not to make another one. Um, but yeah, I really like this pattern. I like that every single butterfly is unique and different. And I think that that is such a cool, you know, I have I have a lot of respect for uh, people who create bracelet patterns. I think that, you know, it takes a lot of skill to do that. And I do not possess that skill. Uh, I've made a few patterns, but they were mostly like converting them from images and they're not even that great to be fair. But yeah, I look at these. Oh, I just, isn't that cute i just really like this pattern I've, I've been wanting to make it for a while actually and so i'm i'm really glad that i that i did um i hope you guys enjoyed this video as well the link to this pattern is in the description if you want to make it for yourself i really do recommend it this is what it looks like from the back as well but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are safe i hope you are doing well and um yeah i'm excited to be back to the channel and will hopefully be posting more uh, so I will see you in my next video. Bye!